Boy, I had a ton of fun on the water yesterday. Just a week or two ago, my buddy at Lowbrow Fishing was talking about this very situation that I ran across. So let's go ahead and set up this stage. So it's been getting down in the 40s at night, overnight, even into the upper 30s. Well, now we are on a warming trend where it's getting up into the 70s during the day and some really bright sunshine. Well, bass being cold-blooded creatures, like to get that warmth when they can in the fall, winter, and the spring. So I found a pile of fish sunning themselves on the rocks. I don't even know how many were here. So it was a very small riprap point, okay? It wasn't that big, and the number of fish that were right here in this super small area was just amazing to witness, and there were fish of all sizes. We had bigger bass, big bass, you know, smaller bass. They were all mixed in together, and I found it really fascinating. Besides the swimming around through this rocky area, there were fish at times that would nose up to the shallows, so the nose pointed towards the shallows, and sit right with their belly right on the rocks or nestled in between the rocks. I found that fascinating, especially, you know, we always think about survival in the wild, right? That they were facing up towards the shallows and I know their eyes have a greater field of vision than traditional predators that are eyes forward, right? So they can definitely see farther back than we realize, but I kind of thought they might be positioned down the side or maybe nose down towards the deeper water, but boy, they would just nestle right in there, nose up to the shallows. You know, these rocks, much like a brick house, so you know, a brick house on a sunny day, well after dark, you can put your hand on that brick and it's still radiating warmth. That's exactly what was going on in this situation. So how do you take advantage of this? What to look for? How do we need to approach it? Well, like I mentioned earlier, anytime you've got temperatures dipping low overnight, but then you've got some good sunshine during the day to warm, rocky structure, this has the potential to happen very often in obviously the fall, winter, and the spring. So if you see something like this on your home body of water, make sure that you approach it from a distance. Just don't get right up there to the shallows immediately, but assume that there's some fish up there getting some warmth. Approach it from a distance, whether you're a bank angler or in a boat, and then work that deeper water first, then the mid depths, and don't underestimate how shallow these bass will get. I mean, there was bass in way less than a foot of water. And so if you're coming from the shoreline, it'd be real easy to put them on alert. So long casts, okay, from a distance out there and gradually work your way in. And if you're in a boat, you don't want to come in there all super fast and charged up. You know, assume there's something there and gradually work your way in. And hey, if you want to watch a video that talks about something that's definitely more important than lure choice, we got to get this right first, go ahead and watch this one right here. And make sure that you go ahead and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For The Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.